Well, now we turn to the food guy, and the war in Ukraine has focused the attention of local of a local chef who's drawing inspiration from his grandmother's recipes to create this new restaurant. I love that. The food is inspired by childhood memories, and our food guy says it's a step away from the traditional restaurants that are located in Ukrainian village. Steve Delinsky joining us now live tonight with the story. Steve? Yeah, hi guys. This has a very personal, strong connection for this chef, definitely. Um, as you alluded to, the restaurants near the Ukrainian churches on Chicago Avenue offer old world cooking, straightforward dumplings, stews, and hearty cold weather fare. But this latest addition to Avondale is part two for a married couple, now allowing the husband to dive deep into his heritage. For the last 10 years, Parachute has indulged Beverly Kim's love of her Korean culture. She and her husband, Johnny Clark, recently closed their other restaurant down the block and transformed it into Anelia, named for Clark's Ukrainian grandmother. I wanted to do something that was related to myself, like that could showcase my own story. He begins with a zakuski tray laden with small bites like marinated mushrooms or head cheese with pickles. Zakuski is hors d'oeuvres or snacks eaten with uh, the first drink, uh, herring, some fried olives. There are thin and crispy potato pancakes served with sheep's milk cheese and sea buckthorn jam, but also pasta dishes. Vereniki is like a huge platter and everyone passes it around and shares it, but I wanted to treat it more of like a composed pasta filled with potatoes. It has a little conte cheese glazed in a saffron chicken stock. A halushki is, uh, it's kind of like a gnocchi or something. Poach them off and top it off with uh, braised short ribs that have huckleberries. There's borscht, of course, but Clark's is a bit different from what you'd see around town. Poltava style borscht is usually made with game birds. In this case, duck and smoked pears finished with culture cream. Kolbasa is similar to the Polish kielbasa, set over a nest of homemade sauerkraut embedded with dried fruit. And then there is halupsi, typically meat-based, but not here. This halupsi is filled with rice, millet, and mushrooms, or braised in a garlic cream sauce made with coconut milk. Desserts are a must only because they're so creative. Kiev cake is a classic. Uh, layers of sponge cake, apricot jam, hazelnut and chocolate buttercream topped with more crunchy bits of baked meringue. I would say these are not what grandma would cook. What we do here is just something a little bit different. What I remember from Ukrainian food growing up, but also making that a, like a Ukrainian American experience. The bread is dark. The cocktails are inspired using slivovitz, brandy, and kvass, but also homemade infusions. More info about Anelia on our website, NBCChicago.com. Just search for The Food Guy. Great for cold weather if it ever gets cold. If it ever does. Uh, but certainly warms you up inside. And I love that power couple that both of them are yeah. honoring their heritage right? and then... Two blocks apart. Amazing. Amazing yeah. My only question is, are they open for fourth meal? That's yeah. what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tonight. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they'll open Make for a us. reservation. Yes. Okay. Looks delicious. Thanks, Steve. I close my eyes. I'm trying to count the layers in that dessert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot.